Hello and welcome to the world of NDE 4.0. My name is Johannes Rana and today is a great day because today we will discuss something I heard over and over again from people in industry. They use NDT in their facility and then they tell me we don't need NDT. A couple of sensors will do a better job. So let's see what is behind the statement. Now, in our last video, we already talked about the cyber physical loop. And I will leave a link to that video right here. Now, what we do in the cyber physical loop, we have our IoT and semantic interoperability to get all of that information from all our production, all our lifetime of our asset together and fuse all of that data. Create information out of that data. We're putting it into a digital twin. We are creating knowledge and visualization out of it. And finally, we are closing that loop by creating some action. So far, so good. Now what people think is, yeah, by installing a couple of sensors in production during or during operation of the component, they could actually get rid of all of the NDT inspections. And they think for industry 4.0, they don't need to do any NDT and NDE anymore. But for me, that is quite why. Now let's have a little bit of a look into NDE and into sensors. If we look into NDE, NDE, yeah, we have all our surface inspection methods. We have our volumetric inspection methods. We have a couple of reconstruction methods and all of them giving us more and more a detailed view of the internal structure of our components. On the other side, we have sensors. And if we think about sensors are non-destructive material evaluation. They give us in a non-destructive way, they evaluate the material, they evaluate the components, they evaluate our assets. And that can be either single sensors, it can be sensor arrays, and we can also do reconstruction calculations on those on the sensor information. Now, if we look onto the difference between the two of them, and look on the one hand on the inspection rate, so how often can we do an inspection, and on the other hand on the information content, we will see that NDE, yeah, is really high up in the information content. We get a lot of inform detailed information out of the volume of our components. But the inspection rate is pretty low. We can perhaps do an inspection every year, every five years, something like that. And the system cost, the system complexity is also pretty high. If we think about NDE sensors, like they're used with structural health monitoring, condition monitoring, or all kinds of other applications, then we have a very high inspection rate in seconds, in microseconds, kind of quasi-continuous. But on the other side, the information content is not that high. Now, for sure, if we think about putting dozens of acoustic emission sensors on a component and doing reconstruction calculations out of that, we're getting actually to a pretty high information content. But on the other side, actually also our system complexity goes up quite a bit. But for me, it is not either classic NDE or NDE sensors. Actually, I think what we need, we need both. Now let's have a little bit of further look into what differentiates 
the NDE sensors from the classical NDE. NDE sensors, they are normally installed to monitor assets. Classic NDT, installed to assure the quality of assets. In my eyes, this sounds very similar, but it has some aspects which lead to some differences, which we see in the market. The primary customer of NDE sensors, yeah, that's engineering. The primary customer of classic NDE, that's quality assurance. The primary use of sensors is a longer life of the component. The primary use of classic NDE is identifying rejectable defects. But if we think about, actually it's not identifying rejectable defects, it's making sure that no rejectable defects are in the component. So also ensuring actually a longer life. But there are a few steps in between, between what we know it is to what sometimes the customers assumes it is. And that brings us to the point that normally sensors are seen as a value center. And classic NDE is seen by a lot of customers as a cost center. And for me, this is a pretty big misconception because for me, both faces of NDE provide information of the internal structure of our assets. Both are valuable data sources as for quality assurance, as well as for engineering. Also classical NDE results can be used for engineering purposes. Also classical NDE can be used for to calculate a longer life, but currently it's not used for it. But big benefit is it's already installed. So what we kind of need, we only need to have interfaces between our classical NDE systems and the industrial Internet of Things so that engineering and all other entities in industrial production can start using also classical NDE data. Because for me, both sensors and classical NDE should both be used for Industry 4.0 and are both NDE 4.0. So we have to go, we have to get from this cyber-physical loop to a holistic cyber-physical loop, which includes NDE. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, feel free to write them down here in the comment section. Next time, we will look into what kind of cyber physical loops do we have? And are some of them more valuable than others? And how do they involve all kinds of value streams? Let's see. As usual, you will find more information in the description. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe to this channel. I hope you give me a thumbs up. I hope I will see you soon. So thank you for watching. See you soon. Thank you and bye.